Hi there, this is Sally King, still with a stinking cold. I apologise for my uh, husky voice and blocked nose. Um, let's talk about uh, high chairs and eating. Now, um, Clemmy fits perfectly in her normal high chair. Uh, that's the first thing I'm going to say. Obviously, you can forget cafe high chairs and restaurant high chairs because they're normally those awful heavy wooden things um, and they don't fit in them at all, or the Ikea plastic ones, um, which they definitely don't fit in with the spiker. But as you can see, Clemmy fits in her high chair perfectly well. The straps do up fine. Um, she doesn't like sitting in it for more than 20 minutes. That's the only thing I'll say. And this is the regular Chico Poly high chair. Um, and it does a perfectly good job. She, I've had to slightly recline the back because she is obviously sat slightly reclined in the spiker cast. And that's the only thing I would say is they're quite far away from their food. So when you fit the tray, which I'm about to do, you will see that there's only so far that the tray will go in. So actually, Clemmy is sat quite far away from her food. So lots and lots of spillages. And obviously, you've got to be careful not to get the spiker wet. So any um, drinks or anything like that, or soup or stews or gravy, as we found out, um, ends up, you know, right down the front. So we've taken to these buying some sort of cotton muslins and tying them round. And occasionally, if it's a really wet meal, <laughs> we um, put a plastic painting uh, apron on as well. Because it's much better to, to, be, to be safe rather than sorry and get food all over the uh, cast. Um, the only other thing that I will mention about eating is don't forget that um, because the spiker is reasonably tight on their tummy, they're not going to want to eat much at any one time. And um, that's something very well worth remembering. Clem has a massive appetite. Um, but in the spiker, she's only wanted little and often. Because, you know, there's not actually much room in there for a swollen tummy. So anything like pasta, rice, bread, stuff that swells the tummy up... Um, you know, only give them a little bit and don't be offended if they're not eating too much. Little and often we've resorted and reverted to, so on occasions, the Ella pouches again, which are just fantastic. Um, so I think that's just about covers it. Clemmy, are you going to say bye-bye? Say bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody. I <laughs> uh, hope this has been helpful. Uh, speak to you soon. Bye.